Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? This is going to be the comparison and video review of the Sporlin Smart Service Tool and the Sporlin Smart Pro R. Right now I've got the Sporlin Smart Service Tool connected to the system. We've got 5 degrees of subcooling, 20 degrees of superheat. And I'm going to back up and see how far I can get before it disconnects. We lost our first sensor, second sensor. Looks like we still have, and they came back. Unit is sitting over there. Anyway, got interrupted by a phone call. Right here, about the corner of the house, I end up having connectivity issues. Let's see if it'll go back again. There we go. So, Units over there, say hi to Whiskey. And here we are. I don't know, this may be 20 feet with basically a direct line of sight, 30 feet. I'd say 40 feet. And I don't think we're gonna keep our get our sensors back maybe it says it's recovered but at this point it appears that it's having issues and once again units back over there I'd say we're a good 50 feet away where we're not getting a good um, stable connection anymore So we're going to hook up the other one and see how it goes. So now we got the Smart Pro R connected and initially I was kind of worried about how these temperature devices connect to the pipe but honestly since I'm used to using the uh, iConnect temperature straps this really is not too bad. The system comes with a couple of uh, releasable zip ties. If you put the zip tie around the pipe, slide the foot into it, it's not too bad. We've got the system running and we're gonna see if we can walk away from it and see how far it goes. Looks like I've got my light on. Hold on a second. All right, so we haven't moved. We'll continue on. We are at the same place where the other system disconnected. I'm at the end of my driveway. We're going to walk down the street a little bit. I'm around the corner from the house. I'd say we're probably easily double the distance and it looks like we lost our high pressure. So. The air conditioning unit is back there around the corner of the truck between the houses. And actually, we got the sensors back. So we're gonna back up a little farther and see how it goes. I would say we've got plenty of obstruction.
I'm way down the street now. Looks like we lost another one. Shout out to Johnny Mac McMaster. And it reconnected again. All the way on the other side of my house. Looks like we're losing and reconnecting. But, I mean, that's phenomenal. Phenomenal range. We'll see if we can get back in range and have it reconnect by itself. There it is. T1 came back on. Anyway, that's that for the range test. So, disconnecting the straps is pretty simple. They got a little release button that allows the zip tie to come loose. The bottom of the foot looks like that, where you can get your strap on it. To get to the batteries, you need an Allen key and that little black button is the power button. You click it, it turns on, you hold it down and it'll shut off. Just hit the little release on the zip tie and everything comes loose. The zip tie is pretty simple to remove. There's a little release right there. Push on it slide it off. Pressure probes are a little bit larger than the old ones, but not terribly much bigger. Just a little bit longer to accommodate a bigger battery. The air probes are obviously smaller than the old clamps but um, don't have a built-in clamp on them. You gotta use the zip ties or elastic straps or something like that to secure them to the pipe. Turning them off is pretty simple. The housing is clear and you can see your light in there. taking them off of the unit. I'll do high side. Almost no pressure loss. Low side, none whatsoever. The antenna is actually flexible to sit in a specific position so you can fold it up whichever direction you need to be interesting to see how long that flexible section lasts. Um, one thing that I thought about was trying to retrofit a clamp like this that would allow you to secure the foot to a pipe, something like that, um, to give you a quick, easy way to connect them. You can get clamps like this at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and uh, I may see if I can find some to make it a little bit simpler even though the zip ties are not that bad to me. At this point I'm using the old Sporlin case to store everything and it's a little convoluted or whatever, but um, I took the partition section out of the Sporlin case and it closes up and clicks closed pretty well. I may see if I can find a case that uh, I can use for the new uh, devices since it doesn't come with one. So overall, I'd say that the Sporlin Smart Pro R is definitely a improvement from the old system. A little bit larger, a little bit different connection system for the temperature clamps or temperature sensors, 
and um, significantly better range. The zip ties were initially something I was a little bit concerned about having to connect them to the system, but in the end, once I started using the device several times, it was a non-issue compared to what the other system was. If they've made the improvements in range and you have to use zip ties to connect the temperature sensors, to me that is uh, enough of a good to outweigh a potential minor difference that um, might take a little bit of getting used to. But I think if you can find a couple of spring clamps, you could either hot glue it to the clamp so that it was always connected or just have the clamp and the temperature sensor in the box that you store them in, in the bag you store them in, and connect them to the system. I'd say check it out, contact your local dealer, see what they're pricing them at. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Check out iBleedR22.com, my new HVACR forum, and my website at www.hvacwithstevenreardon.com. Don't forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at TrueTechTools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching. Troubles on